All right, we're gonna look at a demo app that allows customers to sign up to subscriptions and then manage those subscriptions using Stripe's customer portal. All done in Bubble. Super, super simple, couple API calls and we'll get going. So let's say that we're on this call to action section of our page. We decide to sign up. We're going to put our email, create a strong password somehow. And all we've done so far is actually writing to our database the simple email. That's it. Customer is in. They can now log back in. This is their account. Two fields we're going to focus on, whether this subscription is active, which it isn't right now, and their customer ID, which is going to allow us to identify this customer once we go to the customer portal. So what happens now we select one of these few, um, one of these plans and we launch a checkout session. Very simply, the way it's done, we are calling on this endpoint. Uh, this is done with the API connector. Happy to explain more around this, but essentially you have um, a few dynamic fields here. Um, and basically you are creating a checkout session. Awesome. Uh, this email was passed by my database. We're going to use a test card. Everything is test here. Shouldn't be any sensitive information. Excuse me. Perfect. We're going to su subscribe. Hopefully in a few seconds, we're going to get success and we're going to be redirected back onto our platform where we can see that we have this paid content. That's just an indication that we actually are now seeing gated content. This is our email. So it's the current email user's email and we can also manage payments with the stripe customer portal let's take a look at what happens here in the database if we refresh data these fields have changed yes and customer id how do we do it we listen for webhooks with these uh back-end workflows which by the way if you're not paying for bubble you're not going to have access to it unless you are on a 14 uh, day demo. So we're going to be listening for a webhook called checkout sessions completed. Happy to make a tutorial around that as well separately. But essentially, um, there are some things that are happening in the background and Stripe is sending a signal um, back to us and we are listening for that signal and we're saying, hmm, we would like to change something when this signal comes and what are those things to change we want to change that field to say yes because when that field that says yes is true we are going to display certain data and certain pages to the user because that means that they paid for this and the customer id we're going to use that um for um accessing the portal it's a unique identifier and we're basically listening for this payload it's just a bunch of json data it's just a bunch of you know a bunch of stuff that comes back and we're listening for that and we'll say hey you know what grab that uh, grab that customer id and just put it in my database so that i can have it for later um and the way that we want to do this also is to make sure that we're listening for that payload and when it comes back, we want to say, hey, Bubble, look through my database and find a user. Right now, we only have one. But if we had thousands or even tens, um, it would actually search and find a user that has the same email. So right here, email. The same email as the email that's coming back from this payload, from this requested data, from this webhook. So we're going to match it. So, okay, once you find that, then go and change those parameters, which we asked you to do. So back into our app, we can now see this paid content. Imagine this being pages, photos, whatever, right? Now you have functionalities that you can only have access to if you have paid for the subscription. But what if you don't want to have access to those uh, functionalities? You're going to go to manage payments and we're going to be transported onto the customer portal. Awesome, awesome product. Uh, we are going to go to our plugins and I'm going to show you that this is yet again one call with one parameter. So you just call on this and you just pass this dynamic uh, value, which is grabbed from our database. It's that customer ID within my database right here. So everybody's going to have a different one, right? So what we do is just say, uh, call on that um, 
customer ID, current customers, uh, current users, um, customer ID. Super simple. So now, uh, for the sake of this demo, we are going to cancel the plan immediately. But you can actually go into your Stripe dashboard and set up different um, ways of handling this. So you can actually cancel at the end of a billing cycle. You can actually pause the subscription and then resume it straight from this portal and other things like that. Now here we can change the email and we can change payment methods. We can add payment methods, all that kind of stuff. So once I cancel, I'm gonna cancel. And once it's successful, great. See, I can't resume that. I can't restart it because that's how I set it up for this particular demo. And I'm going to go back to my portal. And here it is. And there's no more paid content. And I can no longer manage that, right? That's that's gone. I can go back to this subscribe and I can do this again. And let's see what happened in my database first. We're going to refresh it right here. No, right? So we changed it. Customer ID remains the same. I could actually delete it uh, if I wanted um, because all this stuff is still going to live into inside of Stripe. My dashboard is going to have all this stuff. It's not going to delete it. Um, it's just there. I could delete it. That's fine. So the backend workflows also very simply. Um, the um, When a subscription is actually canceled manually and as I understand also when it expires. So um, if that subscription only was set for a couple of months then after a couple of months, it would delete. And all we have to do, listen for that webhook that's called customer subscription deleted and go into our fields uh, and find the active and say no. We just basically switch that Boolean from uh, true to false, yes or no. And the same thing, uh, we are actually now doing this, we're listening for this webhook and we're saying whenever a subscription um, that has the customer ID equals to the one that lives inside our database, match it, find it, and change that field to no. And that's really it. Um, happy to talk about how to do this in Connect so that uh, customers can actually create subscriptions for their customers. So it's a B2B2C, I guess. Um, and other things around Stripe. So I always, always recommend going to the awesome docs uh, that Stripe uh, provides. So this is actually integrate the customer portal. Um, and of course, read more about uh, what you can accomplish with that. Um, and also, I would like to um, showcase this product that I actually built all in Bubble always Stripe that allows people to take, accept um, uh, credit card payments without installing anything, without creating a website, without you know uh, having any, any hardware devices, anything like that. Um, and it's all done in Bubble. Uh, there's only two fields within my database. I'm not storing any sensitive information. It's super, super lean. And it's all done thanks to um, Stripe's API. Uh, and soon it will also feature uh, exactly these features that um, I've showed you today. So let me know.